I will not continue to sell my destiny for material things. Every woman needs happiness and the freedom. I demand that you set me free or you bring me back to the palace, into your life and into your heart. Allegedly, when Naomi demanded from only of if I'm a correct people. Hmm. Hello, my lovely people. You're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video. How are you doing? I hope you are good. It has been alleged, my correct people, that Olori Toby Phillips have been on Queen Naomi's neck ever since Queen Naomi said this to Oni of Ife that she will not continue to sell her destiny for material things. All of these things started, uh, okay, not just that it started, it started so many years ago. Like this statement was said by Queen Naomi when Oni of Ife gifted her the jeep and she, she rejected it saying that this is not what she wants. That was when they said she made this statement that she will not continue to sell her destiny for material things anymore. That she needs freedom. And you don't blame her for saying this. So some people have been blaming Queen Naomi. I know that some people will still blame her. Some people will expect that she, expect that she exercise more patience. She has been exercising patience, my career people. This time around, it's not just that. It's not just a patient issue or not. It is all about Toby Phillips uh, interfering in Queen Naomi's matter. Now that won't come the best Queen Naomi so much this time around. Even not only Queen Naomi, even Onyo Fife. Because we heard that Onyo, uh, that Onyo Fife and the father, that they blasted uh, Lori, uh, Toby, for saying this to Queen Naomi. Look at what she said. Uh, all this while, Queen Naomi went and divorced Onyo uh, Fife publicly. That why, is she, why is it that uh, she did not want to come back? Is she the only woman that, that her husband promised something and let her fail? And again, that why is it that she don't want to bring back Tade Nikawu? The worst of it all is that she said that uh, when Naomi should forget about answering the son name, that is Ogunwisi. You know, that Ogunwisi issue have been a, a problem to them all this while. And there was a time then then when Kunomi left newly, they were having meeting in their WhatsApp group and they, is it as, is this this wrong? Is it wrong a bit Toby that said then that Kunomi should stop bearing that son name or going with see and that is that had been their problem and you see uh queen naomi deserves to be happy and again one two particular thing that queen naomi needs in her life is this if not the fact that when you have been uh holding her back and this this time around the thing is really really burning her so much queen naomi needs emotional security and she needs general security. Uh, God has been helping her all this while, but she needs emotional because if you think of what Kunomi is thinking about, eh, uh, your brain will just bust. Seriously. For her to stay alone in uh, in that lucky mansion or wherever she is with her with her Tadenikawu, with her the husband, as young as she is right now, not see, let me tell you. There are a lot of thoughts that will be coming into her mind. A lot of thoughts. Okay. As we heard that the Onyofe and their sister and the father, including some of their friends, are be waiting, went to Queen Naomi's house to tell her that let uh, to beg her to come back. That she she needs to come back, that Onyofe misses her so much and all of that. And she said that she's not coming back. That was when Queen uh, Queen Toby now said that. That if she if she decide not to come back to Onyo Fife, if she have divorced Onyo Fife, that she don't want to marry Onyo Fife again because of Onyo Fife married them. 
that why is it that you know if it, that she is still bearing that surname? Uh, Ogunwisi. Like I said, the Ogunwisi self na rice. Like I said, Ogunwisi self na be the best name forever. It's not easy for Kunomi to to change that name, because a lot of Kunomi's properties is bearing that surname Ogunwisi. Kunomi have a son for Oni of Ife. There's no how you'll expect uh, Queen Naomi to rush and change that surname. I don't know why it is. Is it a problem to Toby? Although they said that um, you know, even on your first father blasted her, telling her what is your problem. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't even know how know how they used to get information about Queen Naomi because when on your and the father went to Queen Naomi, she was not with them there. She did not go with them. Anyway, yeah, it is the same way we used to get information about the palace matter. And so, the older is so good, they get information about Queen Naomi. Yes. But one thing about this uh, Toby is that she took the pork nose. Oh. She threw the pork seed. She threw the pork nose. I don't know what is her problem. After she gave birth to this, her babies, it, the whole world just changed automatically for her. She wants to, she, I don't just know. So my correct people, let's say that when she when she said this to Queen Naomi, that Onyo Efe really really blasted her, telling her that what is your problem? Is it your business? If Queen Naomi divorces me in the public, does it concern you? If it is only Queen Naomi that I go after, how does it concern you? You have given birth to, and your children, the children you even said that is mine. I'm not sure that I'm not sure that they are mine. Because another man started uh, uh, dragging those children with me, saying that I'm not the father, that he is the father. Now you still have mouth. Because Tadenikawa, when Tadenikawa was born, no, nothing like that happened. Because Queen Nomi knows herself. She knows her words. She knows she's a, she's a precious woman. Not some people that don't know what they're doing. If, if actually it is another man that gets them pregnant, they will come and open mouth and be talking to Queen Nomi anyhow. So they said that when your first father and the new father, they really, really blessed Toby for saying that uh, if Kunomi doesn't want to come back to Onyo Fife, if why did Kunomi went to this, uh, her Instagram handle to divorce Onyo Fife and still, she is still bearing the name of Gungwisi? It's not you won't blame Kunomi and she's not going to change that name in a haste. Is it not that Onyo Fife have sworn over to let her go and refuse to bring her back? All she demands is freedom. All she is saying is she deserves to she deserves emotional security and uh, se general security. That is what every woman wants in life. If you see a woman that is in her home and she is happy, she don't need your material. She don't need the car you give her. You don't she don't need houses you give her. As long as she have a place where she puts her head and she is happy with her husband and her home. That is all we know me wants. So may Toby just close her mouth, stop saying nonsense. Anyway, share my call people, don't forget that they are all alleged information. Please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you are a ton subscriber, thank you and God bless you. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Love you guys. Bye.